Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I thank the gentleman from Allegheny County for highlighting a, a very important point this afternoon, and that is that this bill is, is narrowly focused. It's narrowly focused to one borough, one borough run, ran and operated power company. This bill focuses on one borough operated electricity supplier, electricity supplier. This bill is narrowly focused to address the issue in Beaver and Lawrence County. The prime sponsor, the prime sponsor should be commended for his decision to shift away from a universal approach. And while that universal approach or a statewide approach may have some merit, a universal approach would have been problematic. It likely would have derailed this bill, and it likely would have delayed its passage. And I think the gentleman should be commended for his decision because the people in Beaver and in Lawrence County, they can't wait any longer. The gentleman from Beaver County should also be commended for his approach on this piece of legislation. He's brought labor and industry together two groups that traditionally don't see eye to eye on a whole lot of public policy. But the gentleman from Beaver County has gotten labor and industry together to solve this problem. The gentleman has reached across the aisle. He made, he, he made uh, an offer to the gentlelady from Greene County who should be also commended for putting partisanship aside to work together to solve this issue. That is a refreshing approach in this chamber and the gentleman and the gentlelady should be rewarded for that approach in having House Bill 2030 passed this afternoon. The victims, the victims in Beaver and Lawrence County, they have looked to their legislator and th this legislature for some help. They have suffered from wild electric rates. They have suffered from a lack of regulation and they looked to us for help. They didn't look to us without skepticism and cynicism because I met with these folks. These folks are cynical that we will actually respond and help them. But I think today we have a, a tremendous opportunity to erase that cynicism away and deliver something that these people desperately need. This particular municipal electric company has shown that they cannot regulate themselves. These ratepayers need us to put reasonable parameters in place. The devastating impact they have suffered is the reason that we need to pass House Bill 2030. And while some people today have focused on the hypothetical consequences of this bill, I ask you to look at the actual consequences of inaction. It will continue the devastation that, is, that has been done to these families. These families need predictability. They need reasonable regulations. The gentleman has provided a narrowly focused solution that I think is worthy of our support, and I encourage an affirmative vote for House Bill 2030. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All those in favor.